The following presentation has been paid for by the Shadaloo Evening Traveler, Citizen's Choice since 1980X, and by PsychoDrive, the driving force in energy and innovation. Can we just use the last welcome, comrade, that I did? I thought that one was pretty... Okay. Welcome, comrade! Like that? Meccano, Senior Executive Vice Senior President of Shadaloo's Department of Treasury. And I don't mean to be Billy Buzzkill over here, but I think the state of Wisconsin might have a bit of a drinking problem. Okay, look. Look at this map. Just really drink it in. Ha <laughs> ha. This is a map of the 50 drunkest counties in the United States as of October 2021. Are you looking? Okay, got it. I don't, I don't need to elaborate anymore. And, and, and this is just data collected from surveys. Like, this is information that people voluntarily gave up. This doesn't take into account other variables like alcohol sales, DUI arrests, deaths where alcohol was a factor, etc., etc., etc. And you, you want to know what bothers me the most about this? It's when I ask why. Because I always get the same cliched response. Well, what else is there to do in the Midwest? Am I a joke to you? What else is there to do in the Midwest? Spread the might and influence of the bison dollar. That's what there is to do. And today, we'll be looking at... New Glarus Spotted Cow. Look, I'm, I'm just gonna say it. I'm, I'm not really a beer drinker. I, I, I like tea. I, I wouldn't know an Indian pale ale from a lager, but I will say this. Spotted Cow makes a good beer bread. Ha <laughs> ha! I like bread. New Glarus Spotted Cow. Retail price, $9.98. And how much in bison dollars? One fifty six. <laughs> Seriously, though, spotted cow beer bread is it's like the best bread that I've ever had in my entire life. And the fact that spotted cow is not sold outside the state of Wisconsin, um, very inconvenient for me. Much in Bison Dollars is brought to you by the Shadaloo Broadcasting Network and with support from comrades like you. Thank you.